Husavik, Iceland is our next destination. We're traveling now to meet our next presenter who's an actor, writer, documentary filmmaker, and recording artist. When he's not signing autographs, he works as the project manager for a scientific institution in Iceland that's dedicated to environmental discussion and research. He's a talented guy and committed to teaching others about the effects of climate change. Please welcome, live from Husavik, Iceland, our very own rock star, Sigurdur Eivberg. 20 million men have suffered uh, under the influence of floods and also windstorms that are destroying uh, areas around the world. Please welcome, from the Goddard Institute for Space Studies at NASA, Mr. Drew Shin, Dr. Drew Shindell, Executive Director of the Human Impacts Institute, Professor Tara Deport, from Harvard University, Professor of Biological Oceanography, James McCarthy. From Princeton University, Professor of Geosciences and International Affairs, Dr. Michael Oppenheimer. From the American Meteorological Society, Paul Hickens. And our founder and chairman, Al Gore. One of the reasons is because they naturally have this white ice or snow cover. Mm -hmm. And as that goes away, more of the sun's rays, instead of being reflected from the white ice or snow cover are absorbed into the land. So there's a positive feedback at work here that means the more it warms in the high latitudes or anywhere where there's snow and ice, the Himalayas, the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You start to accelerate the warming and everything feeds back on itself and gets worse. Mm -hmm. Ice floating in water, if you warm the air, warm the water, uh, the ice will melt. And so the fact that you're seeing this now uh, throughout the Arctic, you're seeing the loss of sea ice, you're seeing the loss of glaciers, throughout uh, North America and Northern Eurasia. You're seeing the loss of glaciers in the Himalayas, in the Alps. You're seeing a loss of glaciers in the Andes. Everywhere you look that could be influenced by this warming, uh, you're seeing a loss of ice. Uh, warmer conditions, profoundly different, is causing warmer conditions in the climate today than, than a mere 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Not debatable. Excuse it's me? It's not debatable. No, it's not debatable. When these ice sheets retreat. Mm. Some of these glaciers, when you look under them, you find things like Roman coins in the Alps, which were dropped there before there was ice, but it hasn't been uncovered in thousands of years. Or the Otzi, the ice man. Well, the reason that he was found now is because the ice had covered him for thousands and thousands of years. And so we know from what, come, what we see underneath the ice once it melts away, mm -hmm. that it hasn't been like this in millennia. But we know what caused it in the past, and we know it was usually the sun changing how bright, how much radiation it puts out, or, mm -hmm. or large volcanic eruptions. And now, in the recent past, we have good measurements of both of those. We have satellites orbiting that measure how much ash is put up by volcanoes, and we've seen that that's, that's not been increasing. So there's no way that even though that caused climate change in the past, it could be causing it now. And we have satellites that have been measuring very directly the output of the sun. And in the past few decades, when the temperatures on the surface have been going up the most rapidly, mm -hmm. the sun's output has actually been decreasing. We also have to keep in mind that our past greenhouse gas emissions mm -hmm. commit us to additional warming because the ocean is taking up a lot of the heat. It, it sort of slows the process mm -hmm. of warming up the earth. And so we have uh, a considerable amount of warming in the pipeline. Stop making it worse. Mm -hmm. Instead mm -hmm. of turning the thermostat up, we should start turning it down by reducing the, the, the volumes uh, of this gaseous pollution that we're spewing into the atmosphere every single day. Is we need strong global governance. And we need it at all levels. We need it at the international level. We need it at the very local level as well. But it's also every individual choices that we're making every day. What products we choose to buy from where? How are they produced? How much waste do they end up producing? And where does this go? Mm -hmm. We have impacts that are um, all over the world, and certainly our poorer communities uh, around the world are even feeling them much more than many of us here.